this vlog setup is actually really, really overkill, but it's really, really good. If you've been on this channel for a while, then you probably know that I'm using Sony cameras, and I think that the title gave it away too, but yeah. My main camera is the Sony a7R 3 that I use for basically everything from client work, vlogs, shooting b-roll, taking photos and product shots and everything that I can use it for, and I've always been really, really satisfied with the results coming out of that camera. But if you haven't been here and this is your very first time watching me, I'm just gonna say welcome to the channel. I'm really hoping that you'll enjoy the content, and if you do, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button because, you know, that'd be appreciated. So when I'm recording these videos here in the office, I usually always frame my shots with the camera before I start recording, and I've never actually felt the need to have a flip-out screen on my camera. I do. You hear that? That's my boots. I do know that there's a lot of people saying that having a flip out screen is an essential thing when you're vlogging. And even though it would be nice to like see the framing and exposure of me shooting this right now, I don't really think that it's necessary to have to be able to vlog. It's a really good tool to have in your camera and I certainly wouldn't mind if the Sony cameras had it. But usually when I'm shooting my vlogs, I keep my camera set to auto ISO. And I gotta say like the camera is doing a really, really good job of adjusting the exposure on the go. And if I shoot B-roll, I always set my exposure manually. But as I said, you know, when I'm vlogging, I try to keep the auto ISO, and I also have the exposure compensation wheel set to plus 05 or plus 07, so that the footage won't look underexposed when I'm shooting. I also think that the autofocus in these cameras are so incredibly good right now that you don't have to see if you are in focus anymore. I mean, like, when I'm shooting my vlogs, I'm in focus like 99% of the time when I'm shooting. And if you're interested in seeing which camera of the a7 III and the a7R III is the fastest when it comes to autofocus, then you can check out this video where I do a comparison of that. I also try to shoot most of my videos in 4K 25 frames per second or 1080p 100 frames per second. Since I'm living in Sweden, I'm getting a lot of flickering lights if I'm shooting in 120 frames per second. So right now we're shooting in 120 frames per second and you probably already can see some flickering in the lights behind me, but if I were to slow this footage down, Nah, I'm just joking, I haven't slowed down yet. But if I were to slow down, then you can see that the flickering of the lights is much more apparent, just like this. And that is why I'm not shooting in 120 frames per second, because it basically just looks bad, and you also have to reformat your SD card, and that is not something that I want to do every single time that I go inside. The reason that I'm shooting 4K is because I want to have the best quality possible for my videos, but the files are so incredibly huge right now that I don't have enough storage space to save all my footage. And I'm actually thinking about going back to 1080p for my regular vlogs. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think 4K is worth it, or is it fine going back to 1080? I also use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus instead of the internal audio of the camera, and this is probably the absolute best vlog mic on the market right now. And the absolute best thing about this mic is that it turns on and off with the camera. And this is going to save you a lot of headache. I mean, the benefit of not having to charge your microphone every day just because you forgot to turn it off is going to save you a lot of time. I know that it does cost a little bit more than the original video mic, but it is definitely going to be worth it in my opinion. So I highly recommend going for this mic. And then I got the Joby Gorillapod 5K kit or the bendy tripod as Casey Neistat probably would say. What I love about this tripod is that it's a really versatile tripod and you can basically put your camera anywhere with this and it's also sturdy enough to carry my heavier lenses such as the 7200 without any issues. And that's a really good thing if you have a tendency to forget your bigger tripod like a certain person. My main vlog lens that I have is the Sony size 16 to 35 f4 that I just love more and more the more I use it. The 16 to 35 millimeter focal length is probably the absolute best to have when you are vlogging because then you can go from this like wide angle shot when you're filming yourself or showing off the environment that you're in and then you can go on all the way up to 35 and you get a more like compressed shot. At first I was really skeptic about the f4 aperture of this lens but since it has the built-in OSS which stands for optical steady shot I actually don't mind. I've also done a review of this lens that you can check out right here if you want to do that. And I'm also thinking about doing a 
video on why this is the best Sony lens for vlogging if you guys are interested in that. So the reason that I use the Sony a7R 3 as my main camera is because it basically has everything that I want a camera to have. You got the high resolution, you got the fantastic video, you got fast autofocus and three customizable modes on the mode wheel. Something that I would love to have though is a small point and shoot camera like the Sony RX100 Mark V or Mark VI. Just, just to have the ease of portability when you're shooting your vlogs but I guess that has to be a like future project because those are also really expensive. I would love to know your setup that you use when you're shooting your videos so please do drop a comment below. If you like this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because you know that would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching until next time take care. <laughs> oh, you thought I'd leave, didn't you? Ah, uh, sorry about that.